in this tip of the day, let's take a look at how we can make our custom toolpaths more efficient. In this example, I've created some wireframe geometry, and this wireframe geometry is going to be used to drive the tool to create a nice little custom toolpath to remove material from both of these tapered slots. Now to do this, I'm going to head over to the command manager. Let's go into stock toolpaths, and let's use cut chain 3D. For this, I can left click, left click the direction, hit the F3 key to select the rest of the geometry. And all we need to do now is define our tool parameters. I'm going to say all this looks great. I'm using a 3 8 diameter end mill. All this looks good. We don't need to type in a Z depth because one CNC is going to drive the very center of the tool on this wireframe geometry. We'll click next. We don't need to take multiple depths of cut. We'll leave that set to none and click finish. All right, now this looks fine. In fact, let's preview the toolpath, but I'm going to show you a way to make this toolpath even more efficient. So here we are. We fed down, we're feeding across the part, and we're feeding up, back over, feed down, and then remove the material. So that's a pretty nice custom toolpath, but we can make it more efficient. What I'd like to do is I'd like to wrap it in between both of these cuts. To do that, simply select your geometry. I'm going to hit the letter S on the keyboard. Select that geometry, and I'm going to convert that into a rapid move by coming down to our modify command. And all I'm going to do is change the line style to dashed. Then we'll click OK to that. That looks good. And now let's repick our geometry. We're going to right hand mouse click, repick path, going to left click, left click the direction, hit the F3 key on the keyboard. And now if we were to preview the toolpath, you can see now that we've fed down, feeding across the part, wrap it up, wrap it over, wrap it down, and then the next feed move. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button.